Ladies and gentlemen, so in the vision blitz this weekend, we managed to copper vision, ladies and gentlemen. We got 100 vision shards, uh, plus the 15 via milestone, so 115 total, which I believe means that we can unlock this character because he's only 45 to unlock. And then I think we can take him up to freestyle level. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to take him higher than that, but there should hopefully as well uh, be a second round because, you know, when Doctor Strange was released, they had a second round as well. So yeah, hoping we can get a lot bit more on the second round but today uh, I wanted to do a video where we unlock vision level him up and then take him out for some gameplay uh, do a little bit of testing have a look at his abilities you know just check him out as a brand new character and uh, this is my first time doing this type of video for Marvel Strike Force so we're gonna see how it goes ladies and gentlemen but there we go we claimed it let's go ahead and recruit vision uh, make sure I've got plenty of gold well 1.29 million which hopefully should be enough uh, in order to uh, take this dude up to a decent level. Uh, but there we go. He's looking quite interesting in terms of the artwork there. Uh, so let's go ahead and take him up to... Uh, should we go for level 50 for now? We can take him up a little bit more if we have excess gold after gearing him up and ranking him up. But that takes him to a... Um, uh, what is it? A three-star version of the character. And yeah, we are well off the uh, the shards for the four-star version. But if another Vision Arena does come around again, uh, we should easily be able to get this dude as a four-star. So we're just going to go ahead and gear him up. Uh, just see how quickly he is uh, accelerating at the moment. Got so many of these, uh, what is it? Green ability materials, man. They just stack up and stack up and stack up. Really wish there was a bit of a way to convert materials up. Because the green ones, they just, yeah, stack up so much over time. And then the, the blue ones as as well we should be fairly sorted for the majority of blue materials uh however i think what is it those uh those shards i know some of the kind of mystic themed materials we are potentially a little bit lacking on but let's just make sure we go for the damage first so we can take up uh this dude as high as possible and then go ahead and upgrade the uh, the abilities after but there we go let's track that upgrade again so that takes him up to tier six now give him a little bit more damage i can see we, we've hit a little bit of a gear wall there as well run out of improved arcane powder so we need to farm that so we can only take him up to uh what is it a total of tier six at the moment moment but uh, now what we want to do is have a look at the abilities and go ahead and upgrade them. So we have his, uh, his standard attack, which is attack the primary target for 80% damage, 30% chance to chain up to one additional enemies uh, for 50% damage. So yeah, very, very low chance to chain on there initially, but we haven't upgraded it yet. And also if the opponent is tech, uh, he has a 50% chance to apply defense down and a 30% chance to apply defense down against additional targets. So yeah, a bit of an interesting one there, but let's get the, uh, the initial upgrade. Uh, and then we have, yeah, just a higher chance to apply defense down, but that's only if the opponent's tech. Uh, or oh, this gives us a plus 20% chance to chain, so ups that to 50%. Uh, a little bit more damage on the primary, but I didn't think there's anything too special about Vision's kind of uh, kind of standard attack there. And then we have his second one, uh, which is, is quite interesting. So it's called Dive Bomb, attack primary target for 90% damage, plus adjacent targets for 70%, and applies ability to block to the primary target. So that guaranteed apply on the ability block, block I think that might be quite useful, man. I I don't know about that one. Like, uh, it, you know, at certain, certain intervals in the fight to stop abilities for use, uh, sorry, enemies from using their ultimate abilities. The Nomad could be pretty interesting there. So let's upgrade it. Pretty weak upgrade on the level 3 there. Not too much going on. Level 4, bit more of an upgrade. Still not too much. Level 5, I don't think we want to punch it in yet. Again, it's still nothing too special there. Just 20% damage. And then, um... We have Solar Beam, which is attack all targets for 90% damage plus a 30% chance to clear one positive effect. So if we upgrade this, this brings it to 120%, and uh, then we get plus 20% damage and ups it to a 50% chance to clear a positive effect. I think, does that remove a positive effect on all targets? Well, it has a 50% chance to. We'll, we'll see how it works. You know, we'll take this dude into a little bit of action. Let's go for that level 4 upgrade. And, oh, the level 5 upgrade is more damage and removes two positive effects as well interesting one very interesting so vision how, how much does that cost a total of six energy and in terms of the traits as well one of the very good things about vision is is he is tagged as an avenger which i think is arguably the most valuable tag in the game at the moment you got the synergy with captain america reliable synergy of black widow so yeah that's really really good i think having the avenger tag is gonna gonna make him very very awesome so on spawn lowest tech health ally gains defense up okay might as well chuck that in uh gain plus 15 percent 
5% extra dodge chance. Yeah, we don't really need 5% more dodge there. That's not really too, uh, too useful. Tempted to upgrade Solar Beam, actually. You know what? Screw it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do it. We're going to chuck those ability materials into Vision, and we are going to take him out now. So, um... Let's have a bit of a look. Actually, where did the power level of Vision end up? Just to uh, see. So he's uh, currently at 8.5k, level uh, level 50 as well. Uh, we can upgrade him just as much as we can. I think we can bring him up to level 57 here. That's going to give him even more power and also uh, some stuff for the Home Your Skills event as well. So that brings the... Uh, the health to, uh, what is it, just under 20,000, damage to 2,846, armor 1,647, which is okay, it's nothing too insane, focus, resistance, nothing too insane there either, and the speed is 113, so he's a fairly fast character, like, I think the general rule of thumb for characters is, like, anything that's over 100 is, gen is generally a pretty good speed to be at, but, uh, obviously, the more the better, but 113, man, that is not bad at all, uh, so let's go ahead, let's go to the campaign, let's go to a little bit of Nexus here and try and find some opponents around a similar power level. I think this is probably the chapter that we want to be looking at. So let's go for Nexus uh, for free, and we are going to build a team around trying to support Vision as much as possible. So considering he's an Avengers one, I think we'll, uh, we'll bring in a little, bit, a little bit of Black Widow, and uh, comparatively speaking, our other characters are going to be significantly stacked. So let's bring in uh, Black Widow, let's get Doctor Strange in as well, let's have a little bit of vision. Uh, let's also bring in um, Captain America. And then finally, do we want a healer? Do we want Night Nurse? Night Nurse maybe? Yeah, I think we'll wait for a little bit of Night Nurse. I think she's at the top actually. Yeah, she's down the bottom for a while. Didn't have her like properly upgraded for ages, man. What a rookie mistake. What a rookie mistake. But Night Nurse, man, if you haven't seen our Night Nurse video, check it out. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, let's go go against this team. So we've got Nicholas Fury here, who is our priority target that we want to nuke down. Also have an Iron Fist and Black Panther lend to me. Okay, let's go in. Let's uh, jump into this Nick Fury. He's definitely our priority here. Use the uh, the taunt on Captain America. Give some ability energy to Vision. So we can instantly start, actually, with the full area of effect. So let's fire this off. And damn, man. That's, uh, that's some more damage, considering he's an upgraded. So yeah, 4,000 damage to everybody, plus... Um, what is it? 50% uh, chance, chance to remove two positive effects. So I think we... Did we get the offense up? I think we got the offense up removed from the Kree Cyborg. And just in terms of hindsight here... Actually, no, it made sense to go for the Nick Fury. Yeah, just in terms of the uh, the timing with the... Uh, what is it? The shield operative. All right. Let's go ahead and use that. So it's Iron Fist. He's trying to close the portal here, I imagine. Something like that. So we've got to protect Iron Fist. Hopefully Vision will be alright for this, as long as we get rid of that Nick Fury, man. It shouldn't be uh, too bad a time. Right, let's try and find Vision's next turn. There's quite a bit going on in this fight. Um, Shield Assault, do it. Let's let's go for this, get the, uh, get the damage up. Unfortunately, it didn't land. Let's go for the Kree Cyborg. Just to remove his uh, offense down. And then we're going to use the... Uh, yeah, let's use this one. So, Vision flies up in the air, he slams down, applies the ability block, guaranteed. Hmm. The ability block guaranteed is a, is a bit of an interesting one. Alright, let's go ahead and stun the Quake here, just move the fight forward as quick as possible. Uh, use the offense down on the Kree Cyborg for Doctor Strange. Let's use that, close that portal again, just keep on moving. And go in. Is that going to get Kree Cyborg down? Unfortunately not, man. Alright, we need to get some targets a little bit lower. Let's go in. Just the uh, the standard one. Did we apply offense down as well? Did that? Was that part of Vision's basic attack? I don't remember reading that component to it. Interesting. But yeah, offense down was definitely applied there. Right, we're uh, trying to leave some targets low health for Black Panther to sweep in. We need to get that quake down as well. Oh man, still, still no luck. Right, let's use the uh, the conversion on Doctor Strange and flip these buffs into debuffs, and then let's just go for quake. Let's use the torn on Captain America. Need a little bit more ability energy on Vision. Apply offense down as well. Damn, maybe there's something I missed about applying the offense down. Yeah, that's uh, it. It seems to have applied both of the times. I'm gonna just uh, what is it? Mouse over and double check the ability, just in case I did miss something the uh, the first time. Right, let's go ahead and heal. Just get everybody topped up there on Night Nurse. Attacking again with Vision. Go on with Black Panther. 
Unfortunately, wasn't quite enough there, and we don't really need to use the heal on Doctor Strange, so let's just go in, try and get Quake. But uh, I'm trying to save up for like an ultimate triple turn with Black Panther here. Oh no, Black Widow's chain on. Did a little bit too much there. Should have probably just used the speed up actually in hindsight. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's that mission done. Right, so I, I think it's a, a little bit... Um, a little bit difficult just to get the idea of Vision's value at the moment, just because we don't have him like fully geared, and in a fight like that it was uh, a little bit too hectic to see exactly how much weight he was pulling. So I want to try and go to uh, a scenario here where we can just get Vision pretty much like all by himself, see if there's uh, just a lot of opponents. Let's go for this mercenary one and see how, uh, how he does. So let's bring in Vision and also Vision and maybe Black Widow as well. Let's, get, let's have Captain America, Night Nurse, and finally uh, Vision, because then we're going to guarantee that we funnel an ability energy to the only Avenger, which is going to be Vision. So we sh could be, should be able to use uh, some more ultimate attacks here. Right, let's go go ahead. Oh, there's another Captain America, another Hulk that's been given to me. Okay, well hopefully some ability energy actually lands inside the Vision. That would be awesome. Right, okay, let's use this and see how many targets it clears slow from. So this is Vision's ultimate. And let's have a look. So it dispelled slow, uh, sorry, the speed up from, what was it, four out of five targets there? Not too bad, man. Not too bad at all. Bit of an interesting one. Especially considering, like, how quick the character is as well. And how much you could speed out with Black Widow. If there's any scenario where there are a lot of buffs on the start, I don't know. Might, might be alright. Obviously, somebody like Doctor Strange would be a little bit more reliable for the flip. But also, having the damage associated with that on a fully geared up vision uh, is probably going to be about 10,000. Something like that. Get offense up as well. Hit pretty hard. Right, let's go in for the uh, area of effect nuke here on 4. Slam it down. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And also ability blocks four. So yeah, I, th I think Vision's a, a bit of an interesting one because he kind of seems like a uh, a nice mix between like he's got some decent damage output, especially spread across all of the targets, but also has uh, a bit of uh, interesting utility as well. And we do need to check out his basic attack and see if it does reliably apply offense down as well. So let's wait for the next turn to get to that. So let's use the uh, the tool on Captain America. And just to read this, um, it doesn't say anything about offense down, actually, in this in this scenario. It just says defense down against tech targets. Right, let's use it here and see if it applies anything. Okay, so we didn't get anything there. Yeah, a bit of a weird one. I swear it's applying offense down, the upper matchup, though. Ah, interesting one. Right, let's get the right guard down, and then we are going to pummel in on Black Widow, and then go for four. Actually, uh, Black Widow and them four. Yeah, let's let's shoot down Black Widow and then use Hulk Smash. <laughs> let's jump in. Oh, damn, mate, that wasn't too bad at all. Hulk putting in some work there, but Hulk for a lot of stuff, man, is is a bit trash. He's just a little bit too slow. I like the way Vision moves, man. He just kind of gracefully floats over, and also that dodge is very very cool, where the bullets just go straight through him. Let's go ahead, regenerate up there, smack into that enemy again, and uh, move on to the next one. Let's have a bit of a, a bit of a look, another scenario where we can potentially play Vision. Let's try and have a, a bit of a think about that. Do you want to go for the final one? Um, yeah, let's go for let's go for the the final map here, and also bring in do you want to bring in Quake as well. Quake, a little bit. Who, who don't I usually play that I enjoy playing? Let's bring in a bit of Wolverine. Never play Wolverine too much. And also a bit of Luke Cage as well. A bit of Iron Fist. Oh, I'm not too sure. Let's go Let's go Spider-Man as well. Let's go Spider-Man for a bit of fun. Spider-Man, Wolverine. I really, really like Spider-Man and Wolverine, man. I just wish they were just ever so slightly better. Okay, let's apply the offense down. To, sorry, defense down to Yondu, should I say. And then we got the turn on Captain America. Let's use the Torn, get some energy going, and let's dive bomb this Yondu. Apply the ability block. Actually, the ability block might have better been saved for like a secondary turn. Maybe I should be trying to save that ability block a little bit, a little bit smarter when it comes to some of these uh, potential endgame scenarios. Okay, so let's go ahead and oh, do we want to? Yeah, let's just chain on here going to potentially stun the Korath. Actually, it would have made sense maybe to stun the Korath, but let's just nuke him down. 
spin onto Nebula, remove the evade there. Let's go ahead. Oh, pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. Pardon me for that. Had a little bit of a sneeze there. Just came out. I'm so sorry about that. Right. Hammer throw. Let's chain on. Get the chain on on Wolverine as well. Should be able to hit a few targets there. Oh, man. Damage just wasn't too great, was it? Yeah, especially considering that the, the power level of that Wolverine man, he should be pulling uh, quite a bit more weight. Right, we're going to go ahead and stun the Nebula here. Actually, might have been an alright idea to stun the uh, the tank as well. Okay, let's attack into Korath. Let's use the uh, area of effect. Are we going to get a dispel on the Torn? Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Managed to dispel everything there. I'm interested to see. I'm not too sure. I haven't looked it up on, like, uh, what is it? MSF.GG yet to see if, like, a fully maxed out vision gains 100% chance to dispel. But that would be uh, very, very good if at level 70. Just it reliably removed uh, two buffs from every single opponent. I could definitely see a bit of an interesting use for it there. But it's, uh, it's a bit of a gamble at the moment, but seems good. Seems pretty good anyway. Uh, right, let's just use the dive bomb, man. Get a bit of damage here while everybody's got defense down on. Alright, go for the next turn. I don't really get the impression that Vision is like a super game-changing character just from the gameplay so far. Uh, but I get the impression that he's he's gonna be a useful character for certain scenarios. It's gonna be some like crazy sort of buff fiesta where opponents are just chucking buff after buff and buff. You just want like loads of characters that can dispel. Doctor Strange is. I'm also curious, actually, to maybe see, like, uh, Vision versus, like, Hand Sentry as well. And whether or not he um, is able to, what is it, clear stealth? I imagine he is able to clear stealth if you get lucky enough. Uh, can you get rid of uh, both evade and stealth? Maybe. Hmm. I'm not too sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the first look at Vision. Bit of an interesting character. He's definitely got some utility and, like, a good set on him. I don't really see anything, like, too insane, too game-changing about this character. But having the ability block, the ability to area of effect to spell debuffs, uh, I think gives him some potential, man. Some really, really interesting potential moving forward. Uh, and also being an Avenger as well and having the synergies with, like, Captain America and Black Widow, uh, two of the, who are two of the most predominant characters characters in the entire game at the moment I think kind of really brings this character up a little bit as well uh, but yeah I'm interested interested to see how Vision performs when he's up a few more stars and is fully geared up as well so yeah ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it feel free to smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated apart from that thank you very much for watching take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day